What's up, everybody? Jason's here. Today, we're going to show you how to set up the emergency number for E911 service according to Kerry's law on S0 PBX. In the beginning, let's figure out the requirements defined in the law. First of all, 911 calls should be dialed without extra prefix. Secondly, designated personnel get notified of the emergency call being dialed. Anyway, now let's jump in and check this out. First, set up an enhanced emergency number, log in to the PBX, choose settings, find the emergency number, click on add, set a name, enter 911 here, and next, decide outbound caller ID priority. We have two options, trunks emergency outbound caller ID and extensions emergency outbound caller ID. So how do we use them? It depends on your plan with the e links and ERLs. If your company has applied for a single e link with one ERL of the company, for example, 550-3301 for this address, choose trunks emergency outbound caller ID. Well, if multiple e links are applied and associated with a different ERLs, for example, every e link is bound with a room in a hotel. Choose Extensions Emergency Outbound Caller ID. Anyway, let's continue with the examples mentioned. For companies with an ailing, choose this caller ID priority and enter the ailing down here. Choose the trunk with the ailing and enter the number here. Please just be careful about the prepend here. If any prefix is required from your carrier, enter it here. If not, simply leave it empty. That's it. As for the companies with multiple ailings, like a hotel, choose the other call ID priority. We're going to assign ailings to the extensions in the guest rooms letter. We can also set an ailing here. It will work for extensions not associated with any ailing. When they make emergency calls, this ailing will be sent. Now, click on Save and Apply. Get to the extension setting page. Added the extensions which need ailings. Let's say this one. Enter the ailing here, click on save and apply. Repeat the same steps for the other extensions. When they make emergency calls, the ailings assigned to them will be sent. All right, next, set up emergency notifications. Choose notification contact. Click on add. Choose the extension user who will receive the notification of outgoing emergency calls say 1000. We have four different methods via email or SMS and calling the extension or the user's mobile. Then just don't forget to click on save and apply. Now emergency calls can be made following Carrie's law. To ensure that a public safety answering point can call back to the original caller, we need to configure auto clip routes in case the original caller is unreachable. Also create an inbound route to connect personnel responsible for 911 callbacks, such as the security dispatcher. Get to the autoclip setting page. Select the trunk with ailings. Click on save and apply. And then go to inbound routes, click on add, name it. In caller ID pattern, enter 911. So only incoming calls from 911 will match this route. Choose the trunk, set the destination to the extension user who's in charge. Please don't set the destination to IVR or any other feature hard to reach a person. Save and apply the settings. All right, that was all we have for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center, and I will see you guys in the next one.